um, before I before you do watch this video, a very important disclaimer: this is not a medical video. I'm not a medical professional, uh, and uh, you must consult a doctor before you do anything that affects your body or health. Okay, I'm just giving you my opinion, and this is in response to certain claims that were made against me. So it's more of a personal video where I'll address these statements. Okay, um, so having said that. Let's let's uh, let me address uh, the 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 problem here. Um, you know, after I posted my photograph that I lost fifty two point some kilos. Okay, how many did I lose? Fifty two point two. Yeah, fifty two point two kilos. Before I was one hundred and twenty five point four kilos. You can see the big tummy, and now seventy three point two kilos. Okay, there you can see the abs, the serratus. Okay, fine. So no sooner I put that to my shock and surprise, I never expected. See, I'm 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 being honest because many times when I put my video that I've lost weight, just few comments are there, hardly hundred hundred views or something, two hundred views. To my shock and surprise, this particular photograph, maybe because I didn't post it before, I got plenty of uh, private messages. Plenty, plenty. It was like. Ding, 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 ding. I had to literally put the notification on mute because there were so many. Instagram, uh, Twitter, uh, WhatsApp, and uh, even uh, even my Facebook. Okay. And yes, a few comments that were there uh, on YouTube. Now, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. However, you know, you do expect bad comments as well. And I did get a couple of them, like, hey, change your face, change your tattoos, hey, you look ugly, you look like a freak. Uh, that's that's okay. It's normal. I'm used to it. However, there were certain comments uh, who, which really caught my eye. Uh, I tried to find them. I can't find them. I don't know why. Maybe did YouTube remove them or they remove them? They're like, hey, bro, you know, the typical, hey, bro, stop misleading people. You are taking this stack of steroids, okay? Why don't you just admit and they gave the steroid name. I'm not going to tell you what those steroids are. I'm very aware of what those steroids are. Okay. You took this, you took this, you took this, you know. And being an ex-bodybuilder, being a power lifter, I'm very aware of these steroids. I'm very aware of these stacks. And I've never denied it. I've never denied that I did take steroids once upon a time. I was big. I was massive. I was huge. Very, very strong. Okay. To give you an idea, 310 kilos for leg press, 185 kilos for deadlift, uh, full squat, free, without machine. You know, on the bar, 225 for two or three. Bench press, it was the weakest, but it was 135 kilos, you know, that range. Okay. I was a big, big boy. I mean, I was eating like three to four pieces of full, no, full chicken huh, throughout the day. In fact, when I'd go to KFC, 7-0, all-you-can-eat buffet, 7-0 pieces of chicken because my appetite, my stomach had stretched so much. And, you know, the stomach can keep stretching and ask to eat. The KFC manager will say, please don't come. Please don't come here. You know, we can't sustain like this if people like you come. Okay. So I asked to eat four or five people's meals and taking steroids. But why did I stop it? it I stopped it because of my health issues. What were the health issues? Because of lifting heavy, my back, you know, my, my spine, the, there are discs, no? they were compressed. And when they get compressed more and more and more, it really pains you. It was, it was an effort to get out of bed I, because I was literally lifting heavy and obviously I had fat also around my waist uh, because I was like a power lifter. To get up from the bed itself used to pain my lower back. I had to crawl out of the bed, like, you know, just turn at the side. My knees, when I was walking down the stairs, both my knees would ache because, you know, you're putting so much of pressure on your, just those ligaments. Then my elbows started to pain because I had to do almost like 200 uh, kilos where I would push down, you know, for power presses just to uh, get size. I was really abusing my body where uh, heavy weights were concerned. And uh, I think it reached a point where even just moving, just moving, even a light weight for warm up would pain my joints so much, so sensitive. It was like needles poking the nerves. I couldn't do it anymore. And then when I found it hard to even walk up the stairs, I was like, man, I can't do this. And then obviously my injury, where I literally was on a wheelchair, where 
They said, you have to cut open your back and do surgery. I said, nah, hell with all this. So my bodybuilding days, steroids, showing off, everything was over. And then obviously other priorities came in life. This was in my 30s. And then obviously being a guy who liked different sports, I tried long distance running, barefoot running, uh, swimming, cycling, triathlon. I tried everything. And yes, the results were up and down, up and down. But I enjoyed myself. Finally, when I came to Thailand, there's no sports here. I'm on a small island. I'm coming here to start my career, not sports. Where I was dedicated to sports for three days a week, three full days. Huh? See my obsession, three full days a week. Uh, nine hours of training, sleeping, eating, nine hours, nine hours, just training, full day. Dedicated only for exercise with an expensive coach. I realized that was not a sustainable model for me after coming here because I was spending a hell lot of money. It was an Olympic coach. And let me tell you, I was at the best shape of my life, stamina wise, if not physique, stamina wise. I was running uh, 12 kilometers in less than, I think, 54 minutes or 55 minutes. I can't remember. I was really fast. I was at the best shape of my life. But here I couldn't do that. So I stopped all this. And that is where I ballooned. Because eating sugar, eating carbs, I ballooned. And you saw the result. So, obviously, after that, and this is not a secret, I did take a bariatric surgery, a surgery where they make your stomach smaller. And I lost, I did lose quite a lot of weight. I did lose 40, you know, 30, 40 kilos. But then, remember this. This is the part which all of us forget. People forget it. Everyone thinks, oh, after you do the surgery, you'll never gain weight. Well, I did have my surgery. Initially, for one year, couldn't eat anything. But then slowly, bad habits start creeping. And especially given a internet life, a life where you sit in front of the monitor. I have a monitor here, monitor here, monitor here. I have four iPads. I have Galaxy tabs. I have gaming devices. So, you know, we sit on a chair. We like to be comfortable. Oh, okay, I'll do my work here. I'll eat my food and look at this screen. I'll play my gaming here. You don't want to go out. You want to be in your comfortable chair. So that got to me because obviously I was earning my livelihood is online. And I was snacking, snacking literally every single few minutes. You know, initially I could not eat because of the bariatric surgery. But, you know, when your bad habits get back to you, your body adapts. Where I could not even have just a, even a small bowl of rice very soon I was having a full plate of rice. To my shock and horror, I was going back into the same journey. I was 125 kilos from being at least 70, 78, 79. Even though my surgery was malabsorptive, that is, it absorbs less, restrictive, I can eat less, still I was gaining from 78, I became 79, then I became 80, then I became 81. And the 82, 83, 84, I was crawling my way back into gaining weight. And there I could see my stomach again. And it was a shock of my life. Man, I spent $5,000 for the surgery. That is maybe the cheapest you could do from a very well-reputed, good quality doctor. Forget the travel, forget the everything else. And I was going back into that. And I was like, it just hit me. You, you know, you don't realize you're becoming fat. Like if you see your physique right now, you don't realize that you are out of shape. You don't, because it happens so gradually. And then I was like, bloody hell, what is this, man? And again, I started to get pain on my back, my knees. It really disturbed me. And I'll tell you, the breaking point happened. If you see my, uh, it happened on September 1st. Uh, before, uh, two, three months before September, I noticed I was gaining weight. I have a scale. But every time I like, yes, should I do, should I not do, should I do, should I not do? It came back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Until one fine day, finally, I gained, I think, from 82, 81. I jumped up to 83.8 kilos. And that was the turning point. Okay. So now, obviously, the question comes, uh, do I take steroids? Okay. This is the main purpose of this video. Now, I have written down seven reasons why, why I choose not to take steroids. 
why I choose not to take steroids, okay? Uh, and these are my opinions based on my experience. I give you the background, okay? Here are my reasons and I want you to read them and tell me yes or no. See, why does anyone take steroids? Why? Let's understand why. Because they want to make quick gains, fast gains. They want to, either they are performance athletes, uh, fighters, or even they like to show off like bodybuilders. Or they are people who are in the movie business, like uh, anyone, any actor, any actress. Look at the ones who are in their 50s and they don't look like they are 50s. It's obvious they take they take something. They will not tell you because they lose sponsorship with billions of dollars. So for them, they'll say natural, eat healthy and all that. But all of them take, whether it's surgery, hair transplant, Botox, name it. The more richer you are, the more famous you are, the more you are under pressure to take. Okay, because you're in the critical eyes of the world. Now, um, that is why if you see most of the actors, why their nose becomes bigger, why their jaws, why they change their facially and all that, because they are taking, okay? So, for these people, this is their drive. But for me, a small time YouTuber, a very small time YouTuber, who stays in a small village or forest in the middle of nowhere, where nobody comes to see me, hardly interact here, only people who know us, that also they mind their own business. On top of that, I hardly go out. I'm 24 7 here. The only people who look at me are YouTube videos, you know, people who subscribe to my channel. And that also, they don't follow me for my six pack abs or my whatever physique. They follow me for totally something else. What sense does it make for me to take it? It's as simple as that. Very simple. Like if I get big arms, who cares? You think I'm going to be like this? Say, hey, look. No. Okay, that's number one. Second one is, and this is the biggest one. I don't have the drive. I, You know, like even tattoos. Before, I used to love getting a tattoo. I wanted to get one here, 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 here. Yes, there is a little bit of space here in a certain corner. But even I have been offered for free because they wanted to show I'm tattooing the you know most tattooed man in my area. I've refused. Very good tattoo artist. I've said, for what, man? As it is, don't have enough place. I, I, I just don't want. I don't want that pain. I don't want that discomfort. I just don't have that drive. You know, once upon a time, there was drive even for girls. Now, even that is not there. You can say my sexual libido is you know, down, whatever. You know, we go through phases in life. So today, I don't have that drive anymore. There are certain things I still love to do. Today, I don't love them. Third is if you get good quality steroids or, you know, whatever helps you, whether hormones or whatever, they're very expensive, man. Very, very expensive. And mind you, not just expensive, you have to not only take the best of the best for longevity for your body, but then you need to have nutrition. Food should be world-class. Then your exercise should be world-class. Your coaching should be world-class. All this costs a lot of money. You remember I told you in the same video that I was training three times a week. I had an Olympic coach. Uh, what I what maybe you don't know is the clothes, the outfits, the equipment, the food, the nutrition, the supplements. All of it costs so much of money. It was crazy, man. Today, if you ask me, I don't want to spend that kind of money, effort and time. It's not worth it. I mean, I'll be stupid at this age. I'm still thinking about six pack. Who cares? Then number four is the health risks. See, whoever tells you taking a steroid has no uh, health issues, you're mistaken. Huh? You're seriously mistaken. There are tremendous uh, health issues and it depends on person. Some people may not experience much for short term, but there are. But some people can experience a lot more, even from cancer, liver failure, even death. I know there is no study directly relating steroid uses to death, but then it proves to have a lot of pressure on your heart, liver, and different organs of your body, especially with repeated usage. You just need to Google search some of these extreme bodybuilders like Chris, uh, Rich Piana, who died, famous bodybuilder, even... Um, 
Mr. Olo Olympias or Olympic competitors, some of them, they just died heart failure and all that. Yes, they are extreme, but it does happen. At least, like, look, in case of me, joint pain, then uh, tremendous amount of fat, that, <clears throat> that led to diabetes, blood pressure. So it, there are health risks. Nothing, if you put something external for, uh, into your body, don't think there are no health risks. Number five is, people still have to wrap their head around the fact that I am doing, me, this right now, how I'm losing weight is 90% exercise. Sorry, 90% my diet. Let this sink in. Huh? 90% is diet, 10% is exercise. That's the ratio. That's the effort that I'm putting. You know, what is the exercise that I'm doing? Just walking on a treadmill, relaxed walk where I can talk on the phone, I can look at a game, I can uh, play a small game on my hand and uh, sometimes, you know, online games, you know, like uh, uh, dominations and all that. And um, then when I go to the gym, it's just relaxing. I'm, I'm, can you believe in Thailand, I've not even sweat once when I went to the gym. I'm just, oh. Just breathing. I'm not doing. I'm not doing that. I'm just. Uh, no. <laughs> you know. So ninety percent diet, ten percent exercise. What is the use of taking this? Uh, I mean, steroids. In fact, I'm not even having fat burner. See, the only uh, stimulant I'm having is coffee, espresso. That's all I'm having. Okay. Number six. This comes to the legal aspect here in Thailand. See. Let me tell you, different countries have different rules. Thailand, just Google search Thailand's uh, prisons. They're very scary, very, very scary. And especially if you Google search Thailand's tiger prison, it's called a tiger, this thing, Ban Kwan or something. Oh, goodness, if you see those, it'll, you will be afraid. People have been put there for drugs. That is, you're talking about heroin and all that stuff, hard, hard drugs not bodybuilding drugs. But for me, I've left my life. I've come here to start a new career, a family. Do you think I want to be in behind bars for uh, something as silly as a steroid for bodybuilding? Okay, you might say, Loy, there are many bodybuilders who are taking it. It's not a crime. You can take it from a pharmacy. You can take growth hormone. You can take whatever. But why? For what? I mean, Okay, I can buy from the pharmacy. Maybe they'll give legally. I can take like Joe Rogan does. That is uh, testosterone replacement therapy. Many people above a certain age when they don't have any testosterone or it's low, they take. And do I need it? Yeah. Instead of spending all that money, I can buy a new iMac. I can buy a new this thing. I can buy, uh, you know, save for some investment. Do so many things. Travel. Enjoy life. Who wants to? And in my gym, if you see my photographs, it's empty. There's nobody there. And last, if not the least, the final reason why I don't see any sense in taking steroids is the cost to benefit ratio. See, I told you all these, you know, the cost, money, effort. What is the benefit that I get? Will I get some more YouTuber followers? No. Mine is not a fitness channel. There are people who are a million times better than me. I don't do exercise and show videos. Will clients pay me money? No. Will I get any awards? Will I get any friends? Will I get girls? Will I get attention? Nothing. Then what's the use, man? See, always remember in life, no? You always need to evaluate. Cost, benefit, is worth it, not worth it. And then you need to make up your mind. For me, at this age of my life, steroids is not worth it. Yeah. It's really not. Even a fat burner. When I can have a coffee without the headache, why should I have a fat burner? Do I take supplements? Yes, I do take. I take for uh, my blood count. I take for vitamins and minerals because I've had my bariatric surgery uh, just to keep my health. But I'm not taking for fat burning anything. So if, you know, if there was a, uh, a supplement that made you super sharp and all that, like the limitless, this thing, which I have taken, but then those are temporary. It gives you a spike and then there's declines. I'm like, ah. What's the use? What's the use of taking anything that's temporary? Might as well do it slow and steady and let it grow gradually and become permanent, right? So to all of you who are out there, I'll, my only message to you is whether you want to believe or not believe, it's up to you. I am not taking steroids, okay? Whether you want to believe or not, it's up to you. 
but I can assure you this much. All that I'm doing is intermittent fasting. Um, sometimes now up to uh, 12 hours to even 24 hours. I'm making my body insulin sensitive. Okay. Uh, light exercises. And it's all about knowing what you put in the mouth. Remember, you gain weight by eating. You lose weight by eating smart. Smart, huh? Not, and it's not calories in and calories out. It's what kind of calories? Sugar, carbohydrates, those two. And I'm eating more meat, more fat. That's it. So this is what I'm doing. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Good, bad, ugly. I would love to hear your thoughts. And once again, I'm telling you, I am not taking steroids. Whether you want to believe or not, I leave it up to you. I mean, what else can I do? <laughs> what else? All right. You guys take care. Stay fit. Stay healthy. And yes, uh, I'm still wanting to lose a little bit more weight. A little bit more. Let's see how, how does it go. Okay. You guys take care. Ciao.